fix the iPad that Kevin wrecked. See, now we're talking over each other while Who we're live. That? Oh. <laughs> Good that? evening, Central <laughs> Indiana, and welcome <laughs> to JTH Construction Studio, <laughs> where tonight... Oh. Wow. Wow, Rob. <laughs> Rookie. Um, wow. <laughs> You can turn it up. Can we start this over? No, you're good. Go. I mean, you've already butchered Everybody it. Everybody knows you're here. Right. Live from JTH Construction Studio, where tonight <clears throat> is the opening night of Monday Music Hour, and we will get to the host with the most here momentarily. I was running a little late. I had a, had a hair appointment. <laughs> American Basement Solutions, one 877 Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Messmer, 765-341-8911. By the way, Larry Ralph will be back in. We'll be in this coming Sunday to discuss his business. Drink the Creek, Cedar Creek. It's freezing in here now, Beth. We'll be talking about that tonight. Finehelp.org, Judge Williams' group. Wayman's Furniture Appliance Mattress, 765-342-4339. Wellspring, 765-346-6661. Stitt's Comfort System, which Rob's having some trouble with tonight. 765-346-0195. Logan's Cosmos, 765-318-3388. Who's your web nerd? 317-640-4398. And we've got some new ones, Rob. I like it. Live Wire, of course. Tom, Tom Walls. Tommy Walls, 317-522-8263. And then we've got... Um, Hometown Nutrition with Courtney and the gals. I don't have the number because they go there every day. You know, why would I have the number? So, and then the yard barber has taken over the yard duties. Call Andrew at 765-318-4108. And now, <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, some of us have. <laughs> Back for our third season. Is it number three? Of wow. Monday music, it yeah. is. Let's just roll with it. Uh, I'll roll Come with on. it. <laughs> <laughs> Monday music hour. The host, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Helms. Good evening, everyone. Wow, what a night. Glad to be back. 2023. Yay. Glad to be back. Boy, do we have a lot of concerts announcements. Uh, we're not telling everything tonight, just so everybody knows. We are. We do have a big announcement coming this I don't Thursday know, half night. Of that I can't tell the night. So. From live from Greg Ubler at five o'clock. We'll be live on uh, hopefully on Porch Time on WCBK on Facebook Live. That we will announce our uh, our uh, Morgan County Pre Fair Country Concert that night. And then we got another big one that we've not done before that we're bringing back to the fair. We're going to announce that Monday, January thirtieth, ten a.m. live from Home Bank on uh, WCBK and Spirit 95. That'll help give it away a little bit. Uh, but right now, we want to get right into it because we've got some, we got a, a whole full room here. We got our in-house photographer over there, Scott Wallace, who's half asleep. Got it. Scott, wake up. <laughs> we got our RD Productions social media director right behind me, my daughter, Mackenzie. Nine we got nine. Kim Davis back there. She's uh, our uh, ticket manager, been with me from the beginning. We got the Nixter Cad back there in the back. She's one of our great people. Oh, yeah. Nixter. Nixter's been with us. We got Ashley Cox. Now, she can't be seen right now. Is that right? We can she turn the camera real quick. I can turn the camera. Ashley Cox and Stan Wilson from the uh, park board or park, uh, parks department. Yes. And then we got our porch time crew. Woo-hoo! Corey, Bethany, and the hair man himself, Mr. Kevin Coriel. You are looking quite dapper, my friend. Don't, yes. Don't be jealous. I am jealous now. I wasn't a half hour ago, but I am now. Just saying. He walked out, and the temperature of the room just rose. Exactly. Hot mess. That's what happened. We want to get started because Lori has to leave. We've got Lori Lindsay with um, Lori Lindbergh with yes. us from the Artie Fest. You know, go ahead and tell them about your other stuff. And First, we want to tell you. Okay, first we want to tell you that Artie Fest is coming back downtown due to popular demand. Yes, we're glad to um, hear that. Plus, we've missed being downtown, to be honest, and um, we've missed the businesses, we've missed the people for sure. So, we just want to let you know. And also, we're going to one day this year instead of two, um, kind of downsizing just a bit. And it's going to be a little bit later. So, our date this year is going to be July 29th. So it should be the last Saturday in July. Um, 
So we do want to say that things like Cinema on the Square won't be returning, but pretty much all the other things, like a lot of our kids' activities and uh, the 5K Run Walk, we've got cloggers and all kinds of great entertainment, which Rob's going to tell you about in just a second here. Uh, we will have the craft fair, our classic car show, uh, chalk art contest, cornhole, <coughs> and all the great kids' activities. We're going to pack it all in one day. So be there, be square. All right. Artie Fest is back down on the square, folks. That's good news for our downtown businesses and everybody yeah. else there. Uh, RD Productions is really thrilled to be partnered up this year with Artie Fest to bring you the entertainment. Yes. And it's going to be on the new stage. That, as right now, it's called the venue, but I know they're working on a name. And we'll get all that in a little bit. But the, it's on 183 North Jefferson Street. Our entertainment down there this year will be, uh, our headliner will be uh, Deadline, which is Rick Alexander and all those guys' band, a great classic rock band. Yay. Main Street with Tommy Henson and Heather, Rose O'Neill, and the Phil Pearly Trio. That will kick off at 3 p.m. And Kevin, it's the favorite word that you like to say. This fudge. Yeah, fudge. <laughs> this concert is absolutely free. Free to the public on yep. July 29th, mm -hmm. down at the brand new stage. And once again, it's Deadline. I think it's up on our screen right now. Deadline, Main Street, Rose O'Neill, and the Phil Pearly Trio will be at the Artie Fest free entertainment stage on July 29th, starting at 3 p.m. And I know that the, the city and everybody, when we were talking about this, they are super thrilled to have Artie Fest back downtown. Yeah, we're, we're really lost. happy. It was, it, yeah, that's where we, we really missed it. So, so we're glad to have you guys to back. Thank you. It's a good change of venue for you too to get things yes. kind of under control. So yes, yeah. We yeah. joke about the free thing, but the first year we did concerts. Remember that? Yeah. We had people standing outside the gate calling me and him saying, "Hey, how much does it cost to get in?" It's With free. The sign right there it says "free." Yeah. It's free. Free. But, Walk uh, on in. <laughs> we are super excited about all that good stuff coming downtown, uh, Martinsville, July 29th. Deadline, Main Street, Rose O'Neill, the Phil Pearly Trio. It's going to be fun. You bring your lawn chairs. There'll be food vendors. <clears throat> Excuse me, food vendors. Um, I think there's going to be beer and wine vendors, but I, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I, Yeah, I we're not either. Be. We're working on it still. <laughs> so you and your crew is out there getting it done. Yep, we are. We're very excited. Very well, excited. I know our sponsors um, have, I've been out selling, me and Bethany and Carla, our sponsors are fired up that our, that Artie Fest is back downtown because Yay. they get to be a part of it. So yep. uh, we, we appreciate that very much. So, Lori, you got anything to add before we uh, let you cut loose? Because nope. you get up early, early. I know, I do. Get up with the chickens to go to work. So. Chickens right now are, are a hot commodity. You know, the egg prices. No, that's the eggs that are a hot commodity. 5.15 I mean, a.m. Have, 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 have a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Rob. Thanks. What time did thanks. the get up? At 5.15. Oh, my. 5.15 in the morning. Yes, uh, My wife's up at 5, you. so she's got you. <laughs> so, Lori, thank you very much. Sure. Thanks to Artie Fest. Thank we you, are Rob. so glad you, to have you, you downtown. Yep. Porch time. And you know, love we'll, ya. We'll be down there. All right. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. We'll see you July 29th. Don't forget. Right. Thanks, Lori. Lori. Okay. All right. Slide on over here, Ashley. You and Stan, Stan's. if you would. He's taking that chair. We're spewing in. All right, so right we're now we're going to we got some more. Well, we got lots okay. of free concerts coming. Uh, RD Productions this year, folks, is putting on 31 concerts in the Morgan County area, and 15 of them are ticketed events, and 16 of them are free to the public. And that's thanks to a lot of our great sponsors like Greg Eubler, Home Bank, Paul Lauk, West Knox and Son, the City of Martinsville, First National Bank, Belleville, DG Graphics, WCBK, Spirit 95, Porch Time LLC. I will uh, announce more sponsors here in a little bit. But Stan, before we get to um, the downtown area, I want to go to July 4th because we're on that same page with Artie where it was at. J July 4th. I thought last year I had to leave, but the setup, because I was at Mooresville last year, and this year I plan on being here, and I'll have one of my other guys at Mooresville. But I really thought last year the park setup was awesome. I, I thought you guys that. did a great job on July 4th. Well, we can't really, I can't really speak from years previous, because, I mean, it's my first year this last year, but um, we thought it went really well. We had a food trucks and, you know, great music, whole lineup throughout the day. Um, I thought parking went fine and everything else. It was just a lot of people, a lot of people. So. 
Yeah, there's a lot of people come to it as long as the weather's good. So this year on the July 4th free entertainment stage at Jimmy Nash City Park, uh, we'll start the show out at 6 o'clock with Tyler Poe and the Volunteer Railroad. Tyler's been on me for two years to get him down here to play because he's from Martinsville, and he's really got him and a good band going, so we got them. And then you're going to see a name that you haven't seen because these are like an all-star blues team. It's uh, Gordon Bonham, Tad Robinson, Paul Holman, the guy, the guitar player. Oh, yeah. They've got a blues band that they've kind of put together, and it's called Bonham, Robinson, and Holman. He's exceptional. Incredible band going to be with those guys right there. They'll be at 720. And then I had to come back down, and I wanted to keep the tradition. I loved Mooresville, but I wanted to be at Martinsville this year. And so we got big country at the right before the fireworks down here this year, at July 4th, at the Jimmy Nash City Park. So, once again, there's more free entertainment. starts at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to lie to you. I've started it earlier in the past, but it's been so hot in July 4th. And some of the earlier bands don't have anybody that's playing to them because people will set up and leave, and there's only a handful of people. So, we've, I've kind of moved it back to 6 o'clock. That's when the crowds start coming in. It's a tad bit cooler, maybe a little bit. Yep, and then a little uh, later of a crowd. It sun starts going behind the tree. Yeah. So, once again, Tyler Poe and the Volunteer Railroad at 6 o'clock. Bonham, Robinson, and Holman at 720, Big Country at 850, and one of the absolute best fireworks shows in the state goes off at 10 o'clock at our Jimmy Nash City Park. Yep, fantastic. We've got a we've got a some man under contract for the next couple of years. Um, they've done it the last few years and really put on a good show. So now another free concert on July 4th that I'm gonna talk about, uh, which your wife used to be the superintendent there, and I know she moved she on did. to Bargersville, which is got to be a great deal for her over there and i say congratulations to chris if you're watching but uh, pioneer park this year on july 4th we've got the same kind of setup but we'll have rose o'neill at 620 the blue river oh, band which is country they're a great band at 720 and tastes like chicken at 850 and they've got a great fireworks show i was really <coughs> happy because we played there last year and it was really cool it was just a great fireworks show at pioneer park so there's two Concerts at Fourth that RD Productions is putting on on the same day, July Fourth at Jimmy Nash, July Fourth at the Pioneer Park, and uh, a lot of free entertainment to you. So we we hope you enjoy that and go out and see them. Now we're going to be posting this stuff constantly. We just got to get it out there tonight. We want people to know. We're also looking for more sponsors because we've got a lot already, but people are wanting to get on board. If you know a business, contact myself. Contact Carla Weber at C Weber at RD Productions LLC.com or, or get with Bethany Latham, B Latham at RD Productions LLC.com if you want to be a sponsor. Remember this if you want to be a sponsor for us, 31 concerts is in your include in your sponsorship. 31 concerts. That's crazy. 15 of them are ticketed events, 16 of them are free. And how we pay for the free concerts is through the sponsorships, but the other ones, the 15, you're going to get tickets. For every concert, depending on what level you go to, how many how many tickets you get, plus banners, plus your name on brochures, uh, uh, out on the radio, on newspaper, just depends on what level you go to. But if you want to be a part of this, I feel like this is one of the great things that we do around here in the community. I know our company feels that way, and we feel like it's fun. We feel like music good for the soul, and it just makes you feel good, and it's fun. And this is something that RD Productions believes in fun and our country needs it our city needs it our community needs it we need to have fun kevin needs to have fun i'm trying <laughs> are you trying kevin I'm trying. all right so that's one page already of free entertainment that's coming Artie fest july 29th with deadline main street rose o'neill the phil pearly trio that's at the new stage free entertainment at jimmy nash city park on july 4th with big country bonham robinson and holman Tyler Poe and the Volunteer Railroad, July 4th at Pioneer Park. We got Tastes Like Chicken, Blue River Band, Rose O'Neill. Can't beat it. <laughs> it's a lot already. in your spare time, Rob? Uh, I have not had no spare time. <laughs> All right, so now I want to get in because this is one of the reasons these guys are here is our, is our City of Martinsville Downtown Free Summer Concert Series. Mm -hmm. Now, the new venue, we were very fortunate the Bobby Helms Jingle Bell Rock and Tribute Band, and to do the Christmas Spectacular at the new stage, the new venue. Wow. That's what I got to say. Ashley Cox, you, and Mac Porter, and everybody to help get the lighting set up and all that stuff. 
you did a great job. And then the jingle, then the Christmas Spectacular Committee did was over the top. And we we'll talk about them guys another time. We got a meeting coming up. Yes, but Ashley, I really believe that you guys made that something that the city of Martinsville, Morgan County, everybody could be proud of to look at and come down and visit. That was awesome. Thank you. I enjoyed working on it. It was a good project, and we're looking forward to years to come. Now, before I announce the lineup, just so everyone knows, if you're interested, like you've got an event you would like to try to do, or a class reunion, or a, a, a wedding, or, or something, you have to go through the park and rec department to do that. They need to contact Ashley Cox, which is down here on my right, and she will look at the calendar and, and see how tell them everything they need to do. Am I correct on that? Yes, that's correct. Uh, you can call the park office, which is 765-342-3155. You can shoot us an email at parks .martin, or sorry, parks at martinsville.in.gov. So once again, if you're wanting to rent the, the new venue, you need to go through the park department. <clears throat> and Ashley just spoke about the, you know, the, the email address and the phone number. Contact them. Stan, you know, you were down there working on the new venue that day. We were down there getting everything yep. ready. Yep. What's your what is your overview of what you think that, that looks like down there? I mean, I think it's fantastic. I mean the the slope leading down to it so that you can kind of see through going way back. I mean the stage being up a little bit makes it so you can see everything. I mean, the lighting was fantastic. I mean, I mean, it's just a top-notch venue right now. Um, there's spaces for food trucks and and everything else, and we plan on having all these concerts and everything. We plan on having drink vendors and whatnot, and I think it's going to be top-notch for sure. It's it's a fantastic place to see. Well, I agree with you, and that's the reason we're doing. It'll be a total of that RD Productions is putting on in conjunction with the city of Martinsville and Artie Fest, we'll have nine that we're doing. That doesn't count if somebody else wants to do something. We'll have nine free concerts down there, free to the public. Does that include Christmas? No, that doesn't. That doesn't include the Christmas Spectacular, which there's another one that'll it's be free. It's going to be even bigger. Yeah. So those concerts will start. And, I, and just so everybody knows, because we did not want to interrupt taps if we have a Friday night. This year's concerts downtown that RD Productions is doing will start at 7.30 p.m. and run to 9.30. We don't want to interrupt taps on a Friday, no. and we just figure we'll just keep all the times down there for the free concerts at 7.30. We're going to remind you to bring your chairs, friends, and have a great time. There'll be food and beer, there'll be food, beer, and wine vendors available at every one of the, at every one of the concerts. Our first concert that we'll have that RD Productions is putting on is Friday, May 12th with a band called My Yellow Rickshaw. I've heard about these guys, <clears throat> they are good. It's a unique blend of covers. They have fiddles, mandolins, upright bass, harmonica, but they do stuff. It's a cool version of, of music that they play. May 12th, that's My Yellow Rickshaw. Thursday, May 25th, so we can do some stuff with the car shows. Hopefully that works out. It's a band that I, I love. They play everything. Yep. Groove Smash, <clears throat> great band, May 25th. Thursday, June 1st, Ken Barnes, I know you love this band, 45, 45 RPM. Mm -hmm. We've had them every year somewhere, and they just their crowds just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger because they do what they call the British invasion with America's response. And what that means is like, you know, the Who and all those people came out and the Beatles, and then America had to respond to that, they're going to get left behind. So those great bands came out with great music. So it's just a, it's a great night of music. So that's Thursday, June 1st, 45 RPM. Thursday, June 22nd, will be, this band is high energy, dance band, disco, funk, Motown, top 40 hits, The Do. I've known these guys forever. Great band. <clears throat> they have a blast. That's Thursday, June 22nd. Friday, June 30th, is a buddy of mine who's who uh, we've had on here. We're going to have him back on here again. Um Rich blends the lively sounds of reggae, they call it, with mellow moods of an acoustic songwriter. He'll have his full band, and hopefully, Rich, you've got to keep this version of your show clean. <laughs> but Rich Hardesty is a great performer and does a great job. Oh, yeah, he does. Friday, June 30th. Just watch YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say, we've seen his YouTube. <laughs> Friday, July 21st, this band's classic rock, Who, Journey, Elton John, Train, Doobie Brothers, all kind of good. They're called Six Figures. Look those guys up. Six Figures is the name of their band. 
Classic rock. I, well, I, I don't know why. Get, train's been out for what? I, I, I guarantee you. Train's been out. Maybe you're older than you think. So, and then Thursday, August 3rd, Thursday, August 3rd, is a guy who has Stan been out for a long time. Long he sure time. has. But we had him at Cedar Creek last year, and the guy was phenomenal. His band was phenomenal. Thursday, August 3rd, we got Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Lord help our cults. Yep. That's Lord, a classic. Yeah, but he's we, got a lot of good ones. We can do it again now, probably. Thursday, <laughs> August 3rd, Duke <laughs> Tomato and the Power Trio. That's some blues for you folks. Blues. Now, our finale this year that RD Productions is doing is something that the mayor wanted, something I wanted to do. Um, big request for it. It'll be our finale. will be Sunday, August 20th. It'll be a big gospel concert. The headliner will be the band I play. It will be Downpour. Uh, I just think Julie Carpenter and them guys are just phenomenal. Oh, my gosh. Um, we've got the Hoosier Harvest Praise Team. Spirit of Life Praise Team, Life of Love Ministry Center Team, the River Valley Worship Team. So those guys will have, those churches will bring their bands down here and they will perform. I think if, if all those churches and everybody's involved, that place will just be packed. It should be. On Sunday, August 20th. The venue revival. It will be. The, it'll be a revival at the, at the, at the venue. Some dancing. So that's our City of Martinsville Downtown Free Summer <laughs> Concert Series. What do you think, Ashley? I think it's exciting. It's going to be a good year, a good summer. So eight free concerts right there, thanks to the, all of our sponsors in the city of Martinsville. Friday, May 12th, My Yellow Ricochet. Thursday, May 25th, Groove Smash. Thursday, June 1st, 45 RPM. Thursday, June 22nd, The Dew. Friday, June 30th, Rich Hardesty. Friday, July 21st, Six <coughs> Figures. Thursday, August 3rd, Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. Sunday, August 20th. Our gospel concert with Downpour, Who's Your Harvest Praise Team, Spirit of Life Praise Team, Life of Life of Love Ministry Center, and the River Valley Worship Team. How much does it cost to get into these? It's free. <laughs> free. And where are these concerts going to be held at, Corey? The venue. At the venue. That's Ooh. the name of it as of today, but they are yeah, working on it. Am I right? That's what we heard, that they're working they're on it. Working on a name. All right. Corey L. So. No. We're going to go to some more free concerts that's in the Morgan County area. That is part of our RD Productions sponsorship that we're putting on. Five more concerts that are, Kevin, that are free. free. I will say this. Pioneer Park is an awesome place to see a concert. Just the way it lays out, the whole deal. I love going up there. We always have big crowds. It's great. So bring your chairs there, bring some friends, and have a great time. They always have food, beer, and wine available up there at Pioneer Park. Our first concert up there, now you guys will know who these people are. I told them I'd book them. Our first concert up there is Friday, May 19th with the Indigos. They were runner-up in the yeah. Star Search. But they do dance, they're funk, they play funk music, they're fun. Great band. The Indigos will be there Friday, May 19th. All the concerts at Pioneer Park are on a Friday, and they all start at 7 o'clock. They're all Friday nights and start at 7 and go till 9. Friday, June 9th is another one of my favorite bands, Big Roscoe and the Hammers. They're good. They're they play right. Bruno Mars, Michael Jackson, Tom Petty, Rush. I mean, they, they do a little bit of everything. They rock. Friday, June 23rd is a band that I have not booked, but I've seen their, their, their up and coming in the Indianapolis area, the market up there, doing a great job. They're country. Uh, it's pretty much a female, female dominated, uh, dominated band uh, called the Indie Annies. Good. I've watched their videos. They play Patsy to Dolly, uh, Mary Morse to the Miranda. They got a big mixture in there and a good band. One of my uh, a friend that, who I, that I use a lot to book bands with, I uh, see him, uh, Candy uh, McKinney's Shreve. She books them. She books Henry Lee. She books Toy Factory. So she don't let anybody on her roster that isn't any good. And these guys are really a good band. Friday, July 14th is another great band. Oh, that's my birthday. Going to be at Mooresville celebrating with that's Stella. My birthday. Oh, uh, Friday, <laughs> June 9th. I did. Oh, my gosh. I did. My firstborn, Friday, June 9th, will be Mackenzie's birthday, and we're going to celebrate it with Big Roscoe and the Hammers at the Pioneer Park. 
Friday, July fourteenth at Pioneer Park will be Stella Luna and the Satellites. We've had her, in, we've had them guys Ball in here. Energy. Fun. They play rock, country, pop, R and B, funk. Great. Now this next band, I know, but I haven't seen them in a while. I can't wait to play with them again. Uh, Friday, July twenty eighth, we we play a little bit of country, play some classic rock, a little bit of blues. We're gonna have Big Country do the finale up there on July twenty eighth. Free concerts, Pioneer Park. It's part of the Mooresville Free Summer Concert Series up there. Now, I will say this. I have not got to talk because I don't know who to talk to at, at the moment. But what I'd like to do next year at Mooresville, Stan, I know you don't care because you're here, but you did have some past. I, I live in Mooresville. We would like to take some concerts, still stay at Pioneer Park, but my goal is to get some back downtown, to do a few downtown. I've had so many that. people, yeah. and I've had so many sponsors ask me, that are more as those sponsors. Yeah. I said, all right, so I will talk to the park board. So if you're out there listening, if we can do some concerts at Pioneer Park, we're not going to take <clears> any away, <throat> but add some to the downtown, to their Bicentennial Park. I think that's the name yeah. of it, Bicentennial yeah. Park, yeah. and bring some back downtown. So that is in the works, folks. So just okay. letting you know. So there's our free ones for Martinsville, Mooresville, Artie Fest, July 4th at Pioneer Park, and at Jimmy Nash. Am I forgetting anything there? No. Our free ones. Okay. You're welcome to hang around. Because now we got to tell our Drink at the Creek concert series. <laughs> Which, our Drink at the Creek concert series, i got to thank some people. Then you can go through your sponsors and give me a break a minute. But some more sponsors that have done a great job helping us get. These are just getting started. We haven't even begun to get to all of our sponsors. But Gallo, Galloway Beck Heat and Cooling, Top Notch Plumbing, Peddler's Loft. Gerard Investments, Citizens Bank, Mayfield Insurance, Peggy Mayfield State Rep, Burpo Goes Insurance, Stanley Tolling, Woody's Auto Repair, Costin Funeral Chapel. That's just a few more of our great sponsors that's helping us. You're asking about when the fair concert announcement is. Okay, the fair concert announcement, the pre-fair. There's two concerts this year that will be at the fairgrounds, folks. One of them is what we call the pre-fair. We're going to announce that. That's the pre-fair country concert. <clears throat> we will announce that this Thursday, live at 5 o'clock, from Greg Hubler Chevrolet and Camby. Then there's one more concert that we're going to do during the fair, at the fair grounds, in the grandstand. We're going back old school like we was when we had Charlie Daniels oh, and all this. We're going back into the grandstands. And I will let you know who that is and when they're coming on Monday January 30th at 10 a.m., live from Home Bank's main branch down here. We're going to be down there, and we're going to announce that. And let me tell you something. That's next Monday. Was- next Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To me, I don't know how we did it. It's incredible. I'm just, and I don't mean it bad. But when I announce who it is and what, what it is, it's, it's, we are blessed. I'm are just you, telling you. Are you going to tell me pre- or no. <laughs> no, no, you are dangerous. You're worse than a guy with a gun. You've got a microphone. <laughs> it's a tough gig, folks. <laughs> Thanks some more of your sponsors, Kevin. Then we're going to get in and oh, drink at the creek. My bad. <clears throat> of course, we are live at JTH Construction Studio. Larry Ralph, Senior American Basement Solutions, 1 877 409 2837. Fathom Real Estate, Teresa Messmer, 765 341 8911. Finehelp.org, Judge Williams' group, Wayman's Furnish Plants, Mattress 765-342-4339, Wellsprings, Bob Goodrin's group, 765-346-6661, Stitt's Comfort System, 765-346-0195, uh, Logan's Cosmos, 765-318-3388, Hoosier Web Nerd, 317-640-4398, and then a three, three new ones, Hometown Nutrition, Courtney and the gals down there, stop in and see them. Live wire, call Tommy Walls at 317-522-8263. And, of course, the Yard Barber, call Andrew Payton, 765-318-4108. Back to you, Rob. Uh, I'm going to answer Jeremy Toomey real quick. No, there's going to be two concerts at the fairgrounds, at the Morgan County Fairgrounds. <clears throat> One will be June 17th. That's our pre-fair, and that will be out in the Midway area like it's been. And then the other one will be during the fair. Like an event at the fair. On a Thursday night in the grandstands. Okay? So, no, it's two separate events. So, that, and we'll get to those announcements. I cannot announce it yet. It's Can just, I guess? Nope. 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 But right now, we're going to uh, 
really what's kept all this going and been one of our biggest contributors to RD Productions for the last six, eight years, whatever it is, our Drink at the Creek Concert Series, which is at Cedar Creek Winery Brewing, Brewing Company Distillery and Eatery out on Leonard Road, on 3820 Leonard Road. It was for our first time viewers. And I'm just going to tell you something. If you've never been to a concert at Cedar Creek. You're missing out. It is awesome. It's phenomenal to be there. And the the view, they keep, they keep, I was just out there yesterday, no, not yesterday, Friday. And they've just made some more, like put up a little fence along that tree line to where people, I mean, it's just, oh, it's beautiful. it just looks beautiful out there. And they've got that new eatery out, I mean, just so much. So. Burger Boys. Yeah, Burger Boys, we'll be out there to sample <laughs> oh, yeah, the burger. You definitely yeah, they've got great food. Cauliflower burger. pizza, you know, believe it or not. They're awesome. The cauliflower pizza. I know, I like that for, it's a chubby guy meal for keto. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's saying chubby guy. So oh, May 20th. Now, I'm going to clear up some things if you're listening, and I'll have to repeat this 100 times between now and May 20th. May 20th, we've got Resurrection and Fancy Sauce. Yes, it's a combination. Why do you bring that cup? Well, because they bring 2,000 people. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, is it true that Resurrection broke up? It's true that Ryan left Resurrection, the lead singer. Yes. He left. He left. Is Resurrection still together? Yes. They are in the process of auditioning singers. I want to, and does it break my heart? Yes. I feel like Ryan's one of the best singers yeah, I've ever heard. Phenomenal, yeah. But here's what I want to explain to you. The band that backs Ryan is phenomenal. Yep. Yes, they are. They live and are out of Nashville, Tennessee. Nothing against anywhere else in the world. But they live where the greatest musicians and singers <laughs> no are. They are in the middle of auditioning right now. They are going to have somebody. They they had like five guys get up and play with them one night at a concert from all different. It was incredible. They will get a guy who will do this and do it the right way. So I need to work on my journey is what you're saying. Now, so in case Ryan and them tag on to this, when Ryan gets his new band or his new thing going, which I will book him whatever he does hmm. in 2024 is my goal. I don't know if it'll be a journey tribute or if he'll be doing something else. So he I, didn't quit. He's going to go out on his own and do his own thing. No, he quit. But well, he's they got, split. He, but they split, split up. But the band is still intact except for the lead singer, which I know that means everything. But we also got to remember one thing. If you ever, and what was wild, I guess, at nine years, journey was together with Steve Perry. This is what I was told. And at nine years, resurrection was together. Oh, just yeah. by by coincidence. coincidence, and Ryan left. I think he's got plans to do some things on his own. I don't know. I, I don't have one clue. I just know that I have resurrection coming. They've guaranteed me that, and I know that Vic, because I know the talent of the musicians. I mean, the drummer that they have had was playing. He played with Montgomery Gentry. And I mean, these guys are world-class musicians. They're going to have a great lead singer. Fancy Sauce. Is getting better all the time. I just went and heard them the other night, and it was it was it was fabulous. So June tenth, no, I'm sorry, the May order, May twenty seventh, got to bring them back, man. They pack mm, it in. They're awesome. Thunderstruck, an ACDC tribute. Now this is what I'm gonna love. I did this on purpose with a Van Halen tribute called Jump. So you got ACDC tribute mm. and a Van Halen tribute the same night out at Cedar Creek on May twenty seventh. June 10th, I don't know if this is a girl concert or a guy concert. And what I mean by that, it's girls singing, but the women are beautiful. So I don't know how you do it. June 10th, Shania Twain. Oh, a Shania Twain tribute with the ultimate Carrie, a Carrie Underwood tribute. So that's nice. June 10th, a Shania Twain tribute, a Carrie Underwood tribute. June 24th. Barracuda, if you saw, if you was at the Bicentennial downtown this year, we had these guys there, and people were blown away. Barracuda, a heart tribute, okay, with Crush. I had to get those guys back, the Bon Jovi tribute. Remember when they, they, they filled in last year on, on an emergency, <clears throat> and it's like, holy cow. And they're right from here. They're from yeah. Indianapolis area. Yeah. So June 24th, we got a heart and a Bon Jovi tribute together. July 8th. Last year, the Fleetwood Mac tribute and the Tom Petty tribute was the biggest crowd we've had out, had out there the last year. 
It was bigger than resurrection. It was bigger than thunderstruck. I couldn't believe it when I went back and did the numbers. But world turning, there are different tribute band than back to Mac. I've got back to Mac booked on something else. But world turning is another group that's out of Nashville, Tennessee. And man, when I saw the video and listened to the, and my guy that books it for me, whoo, they're good. <laughs> Mixed in with their opener will be the Wildflowers, which is a Tom Petty tribute out of Nashville area, Tennessee. So we got a Fleetwood Mac and a Tom Petty. Something new that we've not brought to Cedar Creek on July 22nd. On July 22nd will be Shining Star, an Earth, Wind, and Fire tribute. Going to be some great dance and music with Toy Factory. Toy Factory has a phenomenal following. Wherever they go, people just come. So mixed in with them and an Earth, Wind, and Fire tribute, if you don't find some music to dance to, you are not alive. That's all I got to say. August 5th, this night, August 5th, this night is for Bryce because he loves it. We're calling it Island Night. Cabanarama does reggae. They do, they do Bob Marley. They do Jimmy Buffett. They do all that music right there called Cabanarama. And then opening for them will be the Naughty Yachties, which is in your soft rock, your uh, Hall & Oates, oh, all these different folks. Oh, Just a great, great Yachties. band. August 26th. I will be here, definitely. Made in America. Yeah. I had these guys last year at uh, Terre Haute. Yeah, Terre Haute. Wow. Man, they bring it. It was so much fun. Made in America, a Toby Keith tribute. Kind of a unique deal, different deal going to open up for him. Boys. I had to find a spot for him. He's, he's, he's one of my absolute favorites. It just is. The Wombly's Rock Boys. Orchestra. Mm -hmm. if, you ne if you ever get to see these guys, this is one you got to see. It's just a unique blend of rock and roll. So we're going to have the Wombly's Rock Orchestra with Made in America, a Toby Keith tribute. September 2nd is our CRB Fest, Country Rock and Blues Fest. We did it. We're going to do it in one day this year. No two days, just one day only. My wife convinced me of that. My daughter convinced me of that. Cedar Creek's employees convinced me of that because two days was hard. Nixter convinced me of it. So we've got for that day. Not everybody did, Scott. But we got on this one day, Henry Lee Summer, our headliner. He still rocks it. Rocks it. Melon Cougar, John Cougar Melon Camp tribute. He's, he's, yes, we did. Eliminator, a ZZ Top tribute. And then Jenny DeVoe. She's one of my favorites. She opens the show. She does a great job. But think about that music. How much yeah. fun that's yeah, going to be. be. ZZ Top, Melon Camp. The, the Melon Camp, the guy, is the one out of Chicago. Is that him? Yeah, they're out of Illinois. Yeah, same yeah. One. same yeah. one we've had. Yeah, he, he's a sports announcer on the radio up there. Yeah. But his yeah. band, they have a, they have, oh, they have a blast. Yeah, good. Come in just for fun. And uh, Henry Lee Summer, man, he's back to he's, he's back. I know he's older, but he's back. He's kicking it. Just really is. Yeah. Doing a great we had, job. We had a ball with him in here. Oh, he's hilarious. Yeah. Here's another new one for all the ladies, because I'm telling you, I had some of them just like freak out. They're oh, one of my God. sponsors. Some of my sponsors that I go to uh, uh, Tammy Burkett Nail loves this. So we got Rob Cottle. He is a Rod Stewart tribute with Cherry Bomb, a Joan Jett tribute. That's going to be a nice, a great night. Rod Stewart and uh, Joan Jett tribute on September 16th. At uh, Copa. Sorry. What did she say? Roxy. Who sings that? Copa Cabana, doesn't he sing That's that? The wrong Rod? No, wrong guy. <laughs> no, we haven't went quite that soft oh, yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm working Maggie, on it. Yeah. Maggie Mae, well, come on. Hey, uh, yeah, come John, on. Hot legs. Hot legs. <laughs> Joan Jett. That's, that's going to be an interesting crowd there. That'll be fun. That'll be mixed fun. With, mixed with the Rod Rock, the Bob's Rock, crowd. Roxy Rocks. Is that the lead singer of yep. the Joan Jett band? Yeah, Vicky yep. says thanks Vicky. for booking those, by the way. And then October 7th. One of our all-time favorites out there. Yeah, I'm right. telling you, I'm just going to say it like it is. I think you could book Hairbangers Ball and put them in a cornfield in mud, <laughs> and people would show up for them people. Because they, like at Terre Haute, it's too, I mean, it's just packed. Yeah. You, every, everywhere they go. So we got Hairbangers Ball that. with the big 80s. See that comment? Now, that is also the day. The hair bang on October 7th is the day that we're doing the green egg. I don't know all the details, whatever they call that, but that's the day that Stan oh. yes. uh, will be out yeah, there with the group. Now that's yeah. at Cedar Creek? Yeah, on October 7th. Nice. 
And then October 14th, our finale, I got us a new one. The Prince tri the Prince Experience. So this the Prince a different one this time? Different dude. I like the other guy, Bobby Miller, but he's in Atlanta, and he wasn't, I don't know if it was opening or what the situation was, but this guy, I did all my research. The guy I booked with, he's great. It's called the Prince Experience, a Prince Tribute. And then one of my favorites, another one, Soul Street, Soul will Street. open up that mm -hmm. show. They're fun. Now, tickets for all this is the same as always. $15 advance, 20 at the gate, children 12 and under are free. Season passes will be available for only $100. You save 80 bucks if you were going to. Now, if you're one of those people wait till they go to the gate, you save even more money if you get a season pass. <laughs> tickets go on sale for Drink at the Creek Concert Series. Listen, folks, they go on sale Saturday, April 1st, online at 2 p.m. Online only at 2 p.m. And then they'll be available within about two weeks after that to where you can buy them at Cedar Creek or anywhere else. But they go online Saturday, April 1st, 2 p.m., drinkatthecreek.com. Food vendors available at all concerts. Bring your chairs. We got concert overflow parking at Hoosier Harvest. I can't, I think it's going to be a fun year. 12 concerts, about right. two every month. What we got comment wise, Kev, before we move on? Um, uh, no. No flying toasters. Uh, yeah. yeah Someone yeah. asking about no flying toasters. Roxy was a DJ on Q ninety five. Uh, Toy Factory's awesome. No, nope, uh, no flying toasters this year. I'll work on getting them back next year, but it just did more change. Cedar here, six. Or what? Michael Jackson and Elvis. So the six, okay. the first year we went to Hairbangers. It poured rain, and we stayed for all. It used trash bags and raincoats. <laughs> I think I remember. We had that. people doing mud angels. Yes, we did. <laughs> I don't think she was sober. I don't. Just, sure just, I, I just don't think she I, was. I, speaking of Cedar Creek, are we going to, should we do something for Dancing Dave or whatever his name is? The guy that dances from the minute he walks in. He pre, oh, pre games. Yeah. He has, he oh, I got to remember his shirts. Dance. My he wife dances was up there. She'll go dance with him. But that oh. guy brings like 12 shirts because he needs to because yeah. she's so Well, I always try to throw him a shirt. Yeah, yeah Jeremy, I see that. Elvis tributes. I'm going to get to all of them. I've only got 12 some, dates. I'm going to try to keep some, uh, different lineups in there. Caps, too. Oh, yeah. He's caps. like in his 40s, too, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. I mean, Shania Twain tribute, yeah, tribute will definitely be a ladies' yeah, night. What's, um, what's up with that? You well, like he said he's 50s. Yeah, what? What's our <laughs> issue here? For four hours, though, so yeah, we don't lose yeah, our yeah, crowd. What's the issue here? How old is Dancing Dave? I don't know. I haven't asked him. Why we need to do something? Well, he needs to keep showing up. Then we'll oh, talk gosh. about doing it. Sure. That's what I'm saying. He's about down there. He didn't make it to all the concerts last year, did he, Scott? What? He was... Yeah. Where was he? I think he was at a gig somewhere else dancing. That's yeah, well, hopefully we'll get him back down. He'll be down. He loves to come and dance. Anytime there's dancing music, he'll come in there and dance. He goes to Morrisville, too. Oh, yeah. Not just Cedar Creek. Yep. Yeah. So there's our lineup for Cedar Creek. And once again, that we got to thank some of our sponsors for helping us because all this is possible because of great sponsorships, and we're not done. We're still looking for sponsors. We don't. We we haven't even touched our whole lineup of sponsors yet. But Black Swamp Steel is that not a great name? That's one of our new sponsors. Black Swamp. Where are they Steel. out of? Uh, Mooresville area. Wayman's Furniture, Steve's Appliance <laughs> Repair, Fair, Fairway Mortgage, Team Turley, Cut one of Professional Golf Cart. She's the best. Shields Designs, Rep Fit Reps Fitness, American Family Insurance, Fables and Fairy Tales, Los Reyes. They know how I feel about it. Chubby's Burritos. I was there tonight, by the way. Tonight? Wait, wait what? What's Chubby's Burritos? Yeah, what is that? Chubby's Burritos is uh, Carlos is one of his new restaurants oh, new down in Bloomington. In Bloomington, okay. And Carlos now has a food truck. Carlos. Ooh. Guys, get it going on. Huh? Are you people that? I don't know. It's down there in DG Graphics Park with <laughs> Ray S. Tacos all over it. I'm, I don't know. I guess it's public. Hey, what's the one, the one in Bloomington? This restaurant? Chubby's Burritos. Chubby's Burritos. I, 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 right right down down Kirkwood. I didn't know what the name was. I knew he... Right city. there on Kirkwood. If I go that yeah, phone, I'm going to Carlos, 909 East Columbus Street. 12 right. concerts. Get a truck out here anytime. Two a month <laughs> at Cedar Creek. $15 person. In advance. 20 at the gate. I hope you like the lineup because it is what it is. All these suggestions I'll take for next year, put it in. I know that I'm looking at doing an Elvis concert at some point next year, I hope. Nice. A bigger one. I just have, you know, it won't really be Elvis, folks. I'm just letting you know. It really will not be it, but it could be somebody that looks just like Elvis. It could be Elvis. Are you sure? I don't know, but the guy that my daughter just went and seen, she sent me a video of it, and my goodness. I mean, it's... 
Oh, so I'm saying, like, it was like, whoa, I mean, I didn't, they weren't. So that be an adults only. <laughs> they were throwing their bras on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but does everybody realize it really is an Elvis? I mean, I'm just, yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to get there. You don't know that. It, was yeah. the king. it could be, I guess. Oh, but anyway, we'll try to get some. <laughs> Shane, need to get some XL shirts. I got XL shirts. I just can't pick you're the sizes catching, where I throw yeah, them out. You're catching the wrong ones, Shane. Yeah, I don't, and I don't know what they are because we, we wrap them up and throw them. So 12 concerts starting May 20th is our first concert at Cedar Creek. Tickets go on sale for Cedar Creek Saturday, April 1st, 2 p.m. online. Online. Them guys are on my radar for next year. Beatles and the Stones, they were good. They were good. Sharon, they were really good. Uh, but 2 p.m. online, Saturday, April 1st. Now, uh, one of the concerts I really love doing, uh, this is a ticketed event. Uh, sponsors that's in your package, well, if all these concerts are, but is our Churches and Mission Truckload of Christmas Toy Drive concert. Um, this year, it's going to be a little earlier than before because I had to go get an act. I was trying to get this act to do this show. Uh, so this year's Toy Drive concert, this, this year's Toy Drive concert will be Saturday, November 4th, 7 p.m., starring Sandy Patty with special guest Downpour. Tickets are $25 in advance per person. For That's for general admission. $50 VIP, and there's only 100 of those available, includes a Q&A with Sandy Patty, and you get to pick your seat. So those doors will open at 5 o'clock. You get to go in and pick your seat. Then you get to sit there and do a Q&A with her and ask her questions and all that good stuff. And then at 6 o'clock, the general admission doors kick open. And then at 7, Downpour takes the stage. And we ask everyone that comes to that concert if you can, to please bring a new unwrapped toys for our kids in our community. And we have had great success the last few years with that. Just have been. That's such an awesome venue out there, too. Yes, and if thanks they, to Who's Your Harvest for doing it. If they do VIP and they do not get there in the allotted time for VIP and the general admission door opens, you get what you get when you get there. So make That's sure why I you love come. Kim. During the VIP. So what Kim just said, and she was off air and you might not have heard it, is we've had VIPs that didn't read their letter that they get with their VIP ticket. It explains everything they're going on. And they show up when the general mission doors open. Now you're just too late. I mean, you, you just got to set where you get. That's the price for getting the $50 VIP ticket. So right now, Kevin, I've added up uh, this year. Just so far, and we're not done. We've still got some more announcements. I believe I'm at, um, as far as acts go, 26, 28, 33, 45, 53, 53 acts so far, and we're not done. Now you got some biggies coming still. Yeah, we got some big ones, but... Now, there's one that is not that I have to announce tonight that I just, I cannot wait. Oh. It's another RD Productions concert, but it's not part of the sponsorship. Did you give me paperwork for that? Yes, you did. You should have it. Oh, I know which one it is. Um, oh, yeah. We had these guys, I think it was two or three years ago, to play at Cedar Creek, and it got rained out. Yep. Not literally rained out. It got tornado oh, warning out, down thunderstormed out, whatever you want to call it. So we didn't get to have the concert at Cedar Creek. But some of you might know, I have to get these acts that travel out of town, hotel rooms. And I basically get them all at uh, Holiday Inn Express because they worked out a deal. They become a sponsor for me. And we work out a great deal with them. So these two acts were going to stay anyway. We're going to get to put on the show. And if you know my wife, she loves Jeffrey Steele. She's almost fainted when the guys walked into the room. So Jeffrey Steele and Anthony Smith are two of Nashville's biggest and best songwriters there is. And I'll get into that in a minute. But these guys are incredible. But going back to it, so we couldn't have the we couldn't have the concert at Cedar Creek. Rained out. I said, all right, you guys are in town. Let's have a let's have a a party 
at the at the hotel back in their little conference room, which holds about a hundred people, and it was incredible. It was because these two guys, for example, Jeffrey Steele, he's won that he's in Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame, 2013's year he got inducted. BMI Songwriter of the Year, 2003-2007. Billboard Magazine's Top 5 Songwriters, eight years in a row. He had, had an eight year in a row in the top five. Five Grammy nominations, Golden Globe nominations. Over 500 of his songs have been recorded. I mean, it's just incredible. He's a former member of the band Boy Howdy. If you go back a long time ago and look that band up, some major hit records. He's a solo artist, but his his thing, he's a songwriter performer. I mean, the guy is a songwriter. Going to be with him. We call this show Still and Smith. If you text, if you email Jeffrey Steele's people, it's Still and Smith. If you email Jeffrey or Anthony Smith's people, it's Smith and Steele. So I don't know which one it is yet, but <laughs> but Anthony Smith and Jeffrey Steele will be on the show. This show is going to be at. The Brown County Playhouse in Nashville, Indiana. About a 400-seat venue. So when the tickets go on sale, which we don't have the date yet, and we'll announce them, you better get them because this is going to be a great, great night. I've seen these guys perform in Nashville. I've had them perform. It's incredible. Anthony Smith is a singer-songwriter. He's a solo artist. He's had major hits. Uh, if that ain't country, I don't know what country. If that ain't country, if you look that up, one of his big hits – but just listen to this. I am going to read some of this because I got to doing this, and I was like, oh, my Lord, just think about if you're country music. And he's even wrote songs for Miley Cyrus, which I know, Mackenzie, she's got, like, the biggest song in the world right now. But Run by George Strait. <laughs> These guys either wrote this or are co-writers or co-writers with somebody else. Run by George Strait. Cowboys Like Us, George Strait. My Wish, Rascal Flats. Me and My Gang, Rascal Flats. What hurts the most? Rascal Flats. These days, Rascal Flats. Here by Rascal Flats. Christofferson by Tim McGraw. The Cowboy and Me, Tim McGraw. Shotgun Rider, Tim McGraw. Do you guys know any of these songs yet that these guys oh, yeah. are playing? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Back at Mama's, Tim McGraw. When the Lights Go Down, Faith Hill. Raise Them Up. Eric Church, or I'm sorry, Keith Urban. Yeah. Stick that in your country song, Eric oh, Church. Yeah. My Town, Montgomery Gentry. What do you think about that, Montgomery Gentry? Hell yeah, Montgomery Gentry. Something to be proud of, Montgomery Gentry. Wow. Those are all Gone stars. by Montgomery Gentry. And the Crowd Goes Wild oh, by Mark oh. Wills. Big Deal by Leanne Rimes. Mm, Tomorrow, Chris Young. Chrome, Trace Atkins. I'm trying, Trace Atkins. If that ain't country, Anthony Smith. Chasing Down a Good Time, Randy Hauser. Bringing Back the Sunshine, Blake Shelton. Bringing Back the Sunshine by Blake Shelton was like the uh, NASCAR theme song for a whole year. If you mm. go back and play, it was pretty cool. Uh, everything she, Every little thing she does, Lone, Lone Star. Star. What About Now, Lone Star. Every Time I Hear Your Name, Keith Anderson. International Harvester, one of my oh, favorite songs, yeah. Craig, Morgan. Craig Morgan. Love is a Beautiful Thing, Phil, Phil Vassar. Uh, she'd give anything, boy, ha boy, howdy. Help somebody if you can. That's a Van Zant song. That's the lead singer of Leonard Skinner and 38 Special. They did a duet together. What Brothers Do, Confederate Railroad. Thought I Lost You by Miley Cyrus. And one that I forgot to put on here is Unbelievable by Diamond Rio. Oh, wow. wow. That's just some of them. I could keep going. That's just some of these hit records that these two guys are going to be performing at the Brown County Playhouse on Saturday September 30th at 7.30 p.m. Yeah, there you go. Am I the only one? Aaron Lewis. I see, there's more. They, yeah. These guys, oh, can I tell something here? Unbelievable that happened. Unbelievable. And am I blessed? Yes. We got invited this past New Year's Eve to go to Anthony Smith's house for his New Year's Eve party. And I first thought, this ain't right. You know what I mean? But it was. I called him. He said, yeah, I want you to come down. I said, well, I usually have some friends that we go to New Year's Eve with. He goes, bring them on down. This is in Nashville, right? Nashville, Tennessee, at his house. It's no charge. It's just a private little party. I got to be about 7,500. I don't know how many people end up showing up. Songwriters, producers, uh, artists, 
plumbers. <laughs> I mean, you name it, it was all there. Porch time personnel. Yeah. No. 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 Well, I guess if I can, I guess I'm kind of a porch time person every once in a while. But here's the story. So I'm an early bird. And I don't mean it bad. I get to I, I try to be early on time. The the invitation and Nashville's an hour behind us. The invitation said eight o'clock. Eight PM ish or something like that. So we drive down. There was five of us that went. We drive down, go to the hotel, get in there early. All right. It's time to go because we got about a 20 minute drive from the hotel to there. We get there right at eight o'clock. In these directions, this house is like out in the middle of nowhere. I thought I was in the middle of the movie Deliverance. I had no idea where we were at. It was pitch dark. Picking a banshee around here. So we pull up at the address, and like there's like a couple cars there. And there's a lady standing outside, or this other guy. And the lady happened to be Danielle Peck. Here's to finding a good man. She's a singer, she's Anthony Smith's girlfriend. And I got out and I said, and she's also a DJ on uh, Y2 Country. Uh, so I look at her and I go, ma'am, are, at at, are we at the Anthony Smith's New Year's Eve party? She goes, oh, yeah, just come on in. You know, talking <laughs> her little thing. So we get there and we're only, he's still in the shower, we're so early. <laughs> so we get there and the place is starting to fill up. They've got the game on like everybody else in the world. You know, the Ohio State and all that game stuff going on. Music blaring, food and beverages and all that stuff. And everybody's kind of in their own little clique. But about 11 o'clock, this is what I got, what I liked. About 11 o'clock, he stands up and he goes, hey, I need everybody's attention. And the party gets quiet. I mean, it took him a minute, but he got everybody quiet. He said, myself, Jeffrey Steele, and that guy over there, he pointed to a gentleman over there, which I already knew who he was. And I was telling my wife, Lisa, and everybody said, that dude over there, you think these guys have written some songs? That guy, mm -hmm. his name is Stephen Dorf. I'm not going to. All you got to do is look him up. Elton, John, I mean, every, Elton John, Neil, everybody. Stephen Dorf. He goes, me, myself, me, Jeffrey Steele, and Stephen Dorf got great news the other day. He goes, we just found out we got the brand new cut. It's going to be out in 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 23 for Tim McGraw. Anybody want to hear it? Oh. <laughs> I went, yeah, yeah I want to hear it. So he took us in the back in his little studio, which isn't no bigger than this room right here. It's just a workspace studio. And he, he couldn't give us Tim McGraw's version. But they gave us the demo that they presented to Tim McGraw to get the cut. Oh, my. I can't even tell you the name. I can't tell you the name or any of it. But when it comes out in this year, them guys wrote it. They were pumped. It was so, And then they started playing other music. And now the funny part was, they're an hour behind us, right? And we drove down that day. Now it's it's 12.30 Nashville time, which is 1.30 a.m. our time. And I ain't like I used to be. I, mean, <laughs> I don't even drink or nothing else. They were just getting started. They were just starting to bring out the guitars, the mandolins, the I mean, everything. All this, They were getting ready to pony up and sit there and play and sing, and I looked at our people, and everybody in my group was ready to go back to the hotel room. <laughs> so we missed it, but I saw highlights, which was pretty cool. We got invited to go back next year, so I don't know if we'll go back or not, but it was awesome to get to hear that. Sounds like a good time. It was fun. It was different, and it was fun. And uh, Anthony Smith is about as down-to-earth as it comes, but my gosh, what a talent. I mean, just talented bunch of people, man. And they're going to be at the Brown County Playhouse on September 30th. So we've reeled off a ton of entertainment, but the best is yet to come. Two yeah. more big announcements. And I don't know who either one of them are. Well, Kevin, I just don't you will like find that. out. The best is <laughs> when, yet when to come. When are we finding out? You're going to find out who's coming to the Morgan County Pre-Fair Country Concert this Thursday, 5 p.m., live on WCBK, live on Porch Time, live on Facebook Live at 5 o'clock. At Hubler. At Greg Hubler Chevrolet and Camp. And at concerts and locations we've had the last three years, four years. Yes, it'll be at the Midway area. Uh, here comes the, the elephant in the room. Is the concessions and all that, the, the water, the beer, the food, all that going to be better at the fair? Look at me when I say this with all sincerity. Portalettes. I'm not worried about portalettes. People didn't find them. We had portalettes that didn't even get used. Really? Yeah, they didn't look. So the portalettes, we had... We had 30-something restrooms there. It was plenty. They didn't look. 
I'm sorry if you didn't find the right portlet because there was portlets that did not even hardly get touched. So yeah, they we're gonna put flags on them. Yeah, something. <laughs> Light flashing lights. But I want to make sure this is clear. The food vendors will be doubled or almost tripled from what we had last year. I'm working with excise people to figure out where we can put the beer and all that stuff, and then we'll figure all that out. But I make a promise to you right now, it's going to be a hundred times better than what it was. Good I promise you. That I won't have any more concerts here. How's that? I'll make that for you. That I won't have any more. Wow. No. Wow. No. I'm just telling you. That's kind of harsh. No, it's just the truth. I'm not going to do it anymore and not do it right. So and it's going to be done right. So mark it down in your calendar, Mike, June 17th. Mic drop. Morgan County Prefair Country Concert. Great lineup coming. You'll find out who that is this Thursday. One of the next one is going to be during the fair on June th on uh, July 13th. On a Thursday night, back in the grandstands, and you'll have to you'll have to come to where we're going to tell you to to get tickets, or you won't be able to get them. This act yeah, the is fair's that big. moved back this year, folks. They they bumped yes. it back three weeks, basically two two and a half weeks. So uh, we've introduced all of our lineup, everybody that we got coming. I want to thank uh, our lady from uh, Artie Fest. Uh, Lori Lindbergh for being here. We're very happy that Artie Fest is back downtown. Artie Fest will be July 29th. We got our friends from the Martinsville Parks Department. And once again, if you want to rent the venue or rent a shelter house uh, up at the park, get a hold of Ashley Cox. At uh, Ashley, what's your email and all that? It's um, parks at martinsville.in.gov. And the office phone number is 765-342-3155. And uh, Stan, I do want to say that every time I go up there, I think the park just keeps looking better and better. Thank you. We're trying. You know, and I know you don't have a large staff. How many people do you have on the staff right now? Uh, four full time and one part time. And to keep that place, and, and that's and people forget they got to keep other parks. They got sure. you got to keep the uh, uh, Doris Day, Day and Mulberry and well, Victory Parks so. are maybe something. And they are working on a new name for what we call the venue right now. I don't know what would be. Um, can I push some ideas that way on that the venue? You can tell Mayor. I don't know who even, who's even who's even doing I, it. I just got some good ideas. Tell Mayor <laughs> Costin, uh, Jeremy. I don't know about domestic beer mixed in. I, I don't. I'm not ruling it out. But I've got uh, I've got to keep my contract with Cedar Creek. But uh, things will be fixed. So that's all thing I can tell you. I'm not ruling out. I just not at the moment. Not sure how we do that because uh, there are certain laws. So. But we've introduced uh, a ton of concerts. I mean, Sandy Patty's coming to our sure. Toy Drive yeah. concert. That's how amazing. cool is that going to be? So awesome. Uh, no, the, the the cars will be at the square. They'll be on the square as normal. So, you know, the the venue that we that's what we're calling it right now, downtown Martinsville. We're going to have nine free concerts there, counting Artie Fest. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I know you guys have some plans in the works, right? Yes. For some other events. Yeah, we'll have some outdoor movies and uh, I think a couple dances and things. Like that. And I'm sure I'm going to speak on behalf. Maybe I might be speaking, but I'm sure once you got all that information, let yeah. the Ports Time crew Please know. Do. They would love to let you guys know. You Pop know, in here and go live with it. And let it go about. Perfect. Thank you. And we will be back. We're happy to announce also, but we got that's a long way away. We will uh, have our uh, Christmas spectacular again. And we're working on some big stuff, aren't we, Bethany? Yeah. So we can't announce anything yet, but uh, we hope to really make this a, a great big deal down in Martinsville for the for the month of uh, Christmas and all that good stuff, right. I would call it. So uh, is there any questions out there before we say goodnight? Because it's been a great night. Um, I do want to thank a few more sponsors that, that are helping us do this. Like I said, if you'd like to be a sponsor, get a hold of myself or Carla at cweber at rdproductionsllc.com. Or Bethany Latham at blatham at rdproductionsllc.com. But some of our more some of our other sponsors that I haven't mentioned yet: uh, Monch Engineering, O'Neill Salvage and Recycling, Painted Cottage, Weedis Collision Center, Industrial Hydraulics, Born and Oliver and Coffee, Wood and Cotton, Brickhouse on Main, Brickhouse Loft, Boutique Hotel, Keller's Office Supply, and I did make a deal with Michelle Keller today. We are going to have one heck of a VIP package for our um, 
our uh, country concert that we got coming. Nice. So some things that we'll be doing there. Hey, can we promote a couple things? Absolutely. Mardi Gras event. That's February, another event coming down. February twenty first, <laughs> six p.m. at Brick House on Main. Then we got a St. Patty's Day event, March seventeenth, six p.m. And when you guys told me on the Tuesday, the February, that's the night we play Avon in basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, February twenty first. That, that's that's Tuesday. that Tuesday. So that's why we're. You can you'll be coming right down. Well, I can stop in when we get home from Avon. Right, here we go. If you guys are still going back, I'm getting me in. Yeah, it's at Avon. It'll be a fun, a couple fun nights. So, of have my beads <laughs> already ready. She's handing out beads. I think. Yeah. Have we had any questions on Facebook or on the TikTok or anything? No, but Dylan says hi. Oh, hi. Have we been clear on everything? Is there anything that we're missing? I think you've been clear, but those still. Have How much are the free concerts, Kevin? Those are free this year, Rob. <laughs> How much are the ticketed concerts, Kevin? Depends. Very good answer. <laughs> Depends on where you go, like Cedar Creek. How much are those tickets, Kevin? Ten dollars normally. In advance. In advance. Twenty dollars day of show. And what can you get a season pass for, Kevin? Hundred bucks saves you eighty eighty dollars. You didn't think I was paying. I like it, Kevin. You're on it this year. <laughs> Had to pop off for a second. Was anything said about Jambox? They are coming back anywhere this year. They'll be at Cornstalk. Well, just to be <clears throat> just to be honest with you on Jambox. We could not work out a date that worked. I tried to have them at 4th of July. It couldn't work out. I tried to have them another date. They were booked. It just it gets hard. And 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 Rusty's, he's my guy. Me and him are buddies. I mean, I try to book him anywhere I can because I love his PA system and all that. I just couldn't, it couldn't, I couldn't make it work. Shane, you got a guy Stop. fighting for that right there, but I, we can't discuss that. Well, we're on the we're on the process of things. Any comments from our park and rec department? I don't think so. Thanks for having us. Love it. Tell your wife I said hello, Stan. I will. Yeah, wish her the best of around. luck. And I want to get up and uh, I like to volunteer at our park. I'd love to get our RD Productions. I, I told Chris this. We've. Uh, I would like to be up in Johnson County and uh, get in at Bartersville because I know that uh, to do a concert series up there. I discussed that with some of their people three years ago, but they really wasn't on top of it at that time. Maybe it's Chris feeling, in charge of it. They'll be booming here in a couple of years. So. Yeah. That area is growing, man. It's unbelievable how many houses are on that, just on Whiteland Road. Right. Yeah. It's unbelievable how many going into Bargersville. Well, folks, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. I know that February 6th, we're actually going to have some live music in here again on February 6th. I will let you know who that is. And I want to thank uh, the Park and Rec Department for coming in. We want to thank our in-house photographer, Mr. Scott Wallace. Scott yes, we love him. I want to thank uh, some of my RD production team. Miss Kimberly Hatton Davis over there. He's over. On, are you on Facebook or TikTok? I am on TikTok. She's on TikTok. And then over there, one of my favorite tic ticket people. She just tells people like it is and handles it all. Mixed with Cad she back makes over me Nikki show Cad. ID when I pull up. Good, there. keep it up. We don't trust anyone. I don't know who you are. Yeah, she don't know who he is. And then our porch time crew, Corey, Beth, Kevin, and my beautiful. Talented daughter whose birthday is on June 9th. <laughs> Big Roscoe. Our social media Roscoe. director. And she'll be partying with Big Roscoe and the Hammers. That's Mackenzie hilarious. Stillman in the back. That's hilarious. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I do got to say something before I forget. You know who puts up with all this crap, though, for me? My your little lovely, blonde wife at home. Your lovely wife. Yeah. She puts up with a lot. Uh, and uh, like she just does. And I love you, honey, and thank you for doing it. So anyway, God oh. bless it. Oh, what's that? Oh. oh. Foxcliff Golf Club, they're back on this. All right, there we go. Foxcliff Golf Club's back on. Doug Mullen, you know what? They're kicking butt out there. They're getting really creative, thinking outside the box. Isn't that where it. our golf battle is? That is. That's yeah. what you got to do, man. April we got lots of sponsors. We can't even tell all of them. We got more coming. Just getting started. We've only been out for two weeks. Getting ready to kick it. Hey, everyone have a great evening. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you all next time, and God bless you.